A public beta just opened up for the NES LCD mod project that allows you to use an unmodified NES zapper on a flat screen TV. This project just uses a modified ROM and nothing else. You could use all original hardware. And I wanted to test it using my analog NT mini on my OLED TV. So this is just a very quick run through of the beta and seeing how it works. When you first boot the ROM, you'll notice delay auto in the upper left hand part of the screen. And if you're using a scaler, make sure to not have it set to 5x mode, otherwise that will get cut off and you won't be able to see the delay setting at all. If you're going to use a scaler, at first just try 720p or 4x 1080p modes, just so you'd be able to mess with the delay settings. I left mine at auto, which is where I had the most luck with this, but if you hit the up and down arrows, you could also select between individual numbers but I was never able to dial into a single number that worked better than the other. It was always just auto for me. I tried each of the delay settings as well as multiple resolution outputs from the Analog NT Mini, as well as different flat screens. I tried this OLED TV as well as a TCL LCD TV, and I would only get sporadic hits. So you could see one here in the video, but that was the only one I was able to capture when I turned the camera on. There was one point where I got maybe two or three hits out of 10, but that didn't happen consistently. So the project is still very much in beta form, and to be honest, with no disrespect meant to Alexi, the creator of this project, I'm not sure if this will ever be a perfect solution for everybody. There's just too much involved in using light guns with a flat screen, especially if there's no modification at all to the original gun which is something that I would really hope for. Just being able to use old consoles through an RGB mod or through HDMI right on a flat screen. But for now, uh, at least the beta is open and as many people want can try it out. And maybe there's a pattern, maybe there's a, a certain light to the room. I did of course try in a completely pitch black room, in a well lit room. I tried turning the brightness up and down on my TV. Uh, the OLED TV I used has perfect pitch black screens when it goes dark. Whereas the TCL cheap model I was using, it's still kind of gray when it's black. So I think I covered the whole gamut of what could be done, at least at, uh, without modifying the software at all. But if anybody has any interest in this project and you have a ROM cart, just fire it up and give it a try and, and see what kind of results you get for yourself. I'll be doing any further updates on this on my weekly podcast. Um, unless there's some huge major update, I think I'll just, uh, the better place for it would be posting it there rather than do individual videos like this. I just really wanted to bring this project to light and hopefully expose more people to it. And maybe we could all come and find a fix together for this. But if you like this video, please subscribe and uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon.